Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 14th of January's Godly Blessing. Now when we, when we talk about happiness, generally we think that there are only two ways. One is to get involved or dwell into the worldly ways completely and get happiness from things, from achievements of the world, from money, from uh, people around you, from people's love and attention and respect and name and fame which they give you. Or there's another way, the second way which is complete renunciation. So you completely renounce everything which you have in your life. That means you don't take the nectar of happiness from any of the things, any of the people around you. Even the name and the fame which people give you, you're not even concerned about all those things. You are just doing your karma without any desire. And that is only achievable when we are doing everything thinking that we're doing it for the Supreme Creator. Now these are two options. Most of you listeners might be in between these two options. Some of you might be in the first option. Some of you might be thinking about the second option and might be thinking, my God, it's very difficult to get into the second option. Let me enjoy the first one first. Well, that is a journey. It's a traveling journey of transition of consciousness from this to this first option to second option. And it can happen. But we are talking about permanent happiness. And there's somebody, a young student who was asking me this question when we were having uh, a discourse and that student asked me so well if you think good if you think good about others if you help others out you'll be always be happy and I said yes you can be happy doing all those things but we're talking about constant happiness and constant happiness can only be attained by listening to what we have to say in this beautiful word done because these are godly words so let's go ahead let's understand through his own words May you be an embodiment of happiness while living in this world of sorrow. Kalyuga is the world of sorrow. By remaining aware of the father, the whole ocean of happiness. You call him father, you call him Malik, you call him creator, you call him Allah or Jehovah. But he is the one who is the bestower of happiness. So that happiness can only come between the creator and the creation when there is a complete pure link. So God says constantly remain aware of the father or the creator or the infinite being the ocean of happiness and you will become an embodiment of happiness no matter how much influence there is of sorrow that means around you can be financial sorrow can be relationship sorrow people dying people complaining people going through hardships people losing jobs people going through business failures and peacelessness in the world you must stay detached and loving that means you understand the complete law of karma you understand what exactly have we come through in ages as per the ages we understand that what is the world supposed to be at right now and everything is accurate the suffering the peacelessness is all the karmic accounts or let's say the load of karmic accounts of many births being being taken care of in just one birth imagine that so that load has to be dropped off so when we let go of that load it can only be let go either through financial suffering mental emotional suffering health suffering or any other form of suffering but detached from looking at the condition of the world and not concerning yourself with it thinking that oh I am planning something out right now for godly work, what if the what if this earthquake hits in? What if this uh, landslide comes in? What if this city doesn't survive? Or what if something happens? What do I do about my plans? Well, you have to plan out everything on a detached manner and loving with God and in His directions. So then God says, "You are with the ocean of happiness, and you are therefore constantly happy." Swinging in the swing of happiness. That means whenever we are in a communion with God or it's a communication with God, a telepathic communication and an exchange of energies with God, the creator, then automatically the sorrows in the world, why is, why not, who not, when, where, how, all those questions of sorrow which we find out if we ask these questions to ourselves, especially in this Kali Yuga, We'll find out many reasons to blame, many reasons to complain, many reasons to say certain ill words or say certain devilish words to hurt other people. 
But when we stop counting all these whys and why nots, and when we stop asking questions because we have learned the complete understanding of the whole drama, why is it happening like this? And that's what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. You understand all the whys, all the answers of whys, in a holistic manner. That means concerning finances, concerning uh, governments, concerning sociology, concerning geography, concerning politics, and you have all the answers for everything and that's what is revealed by god and then you don't have any questions anymore and you see everything which is happening around you peacelessness or war or anything you're like nothing new god has already revealed it to us so why to panic as simple as that well god then says you children who are master oceans of happiness cannot have any thoughts of sorrow because you have stepped away from the world of sorrow and come into the confluence age. That means our wants and desires from this old world. That means my neighbors, my friends, my colleagues, my relatives should do certain things for me so that I feel happy or I feel content has all washed away or it's washing away and come into the confluence age. So in confluence age, it's all from the Supreme Creator. All strings have been broken and so you continue to move along in the waves of the ocean of happiness. And that is a secret. How do you find out how to be with the ocean of happiness is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's very important to go now otherwise it's going to be too late. It's not my words, it's God's words. It's going to be too late. It's now or never. With this, Om Shanti.